Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Audacity. How to import an MP4 file, that is a video file, and extract audio out of it in Audacity. For that, first of all, you need the software installed on your system. So you go to Google search and type Audacity. Here is the link audacityteam.org this is where you need to click from this website then go to download windows because i have a windows system here you will find the option to either download with the user manual or without the user manual so we'll say without the user manual that is the zip file and from here again you can select either the windows installer or the windows zip file let us say we want to download the windows installer click on it and it has been downloaded now go to the location where it has been downloaded from here you can double click to set it up and then finish the setup once it has been installed open audacity now i will try to add an mp4 file so audacity shows an error that the file is an advanced audio coding file without the optional ffmpeg library audacity cannot open this type of file okay so we need a library ffmpeg for that you go to edit preferences in preferences you select libraries from here then you can go to download Click on the Windows section for installing FFMPEG. From here, go to FFMPEG download page. From here, download FFMPEG Win. 2.2.2.exe Once it has been downloaded, go to the location Choose the language Next, select the folder where do you want to set it up. Finish. Now, we will open Audacity again. And now it is extracting the audio out of the mp4 file. Because Audacity has automatically detected mmpeg files. 
after it was installed. Now we will do a little bit of noise reduction. As you can see there are spikes in the audio. First of all we need to zoom this. For that you click on the plus sign with the magnifying glass. Zoom. Okay. Then the first thing is to listen to the audio. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Now as you can see there is some background noise which we need to reduce. But before that we are going to select the entire track that is double click to select the entire track. Go to effects and normalize. Keep it to 0.0, .0 dB. OK. Next is to select a part of the empty space where there is no narration so that we can capture the background noise. So select that part by click and drag, go to effects, noise reduction, get noise profile. Now select the entire track, again go back to effects, noise reduction, OK. Now what it essentially is doing is that the noise that it captured from the noise profile that we selected initially, it is going to remove that noise from the entire track. Hello and welcome. Now you can see there is no background noise. In case you still feel there is some noise, you can repeat the same steps again. That is to select the area where you feel there is some noise and go to effects, noise reduction, get noise profile, select the track, effects, noise reduction, OK. By doing this maybe two times or three times maximum, you will be able to eliminate any background noise. Next is to amplify. Now suppose you feel that the volume is too low, you can select the entire track, go to effects and amplify. From here, you can increase and then you can preview. Hello and welcome. Now, if you feel that is the volume that you want, you can click on OK. Similarly, if you think that the volume of the existing track, the original track is too high and you want to reduce. Then from the amplify option itself, you can drag it to a negative value and as you drag it to the negative value, then again you can click on preview. Hello and welcome. You will notice that the volume is decreased. So if I say minus 5, negative 5, OK. You can see that the volume has been decreased. This is how you can increase or decrease through the 
amplify option and you can always undo it by control Z. So this is about basic editing of audio, how to reduce background noise and how to increase or decrease the volume of your audio track. Next is that you can save it. So when you save it, it is going to save project as that is the audacity project with the dot AUP format. But if you are going to use this audio track in another software, for example, for video editing, you would either need a WAV or a MP3 file. For that, you will have to go to File, Export. Here you get the various file formats in which you can export it. So if you are using Screencast-O-Matic, you would require export as WAV. Save. Okay. And this will save the audio file in a WAV format which you can then import in Screencast-O-Matic. Here it is. The file has been exported in the WAV format. So that is about editing and saving an audio track from a MP4 file. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.